as we all know, almost everybody is jumping on AI bandwagon. Everybody is embracing it. Everybody is looking at it like hammer and nail situation. When you look at organizations, what are some of the most common mistakes leaders make when they first try to adopt AI? Well, I think it's like any other piece of technology when it boils down to it, Swapnil. It comes down to understanding what the problem is you're trying to solve. Um, I think AI is obviously, a, 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 in a way, it's an evolutionary technology as opposed to revolutionary, as much as um, the CEOs of Anthropic and OpenAI would, would want us to believe. Um, and I think that brings with this both benefits but caveats. And I think that one of the biggest mistakes companies make is simply not understanding the problem they're trying to solve out of the gate. It's not, it's not some kind of magic dust which you can sprinkle on your business and all of a sudden things get better. It requires thought, it requires planning like any other piece of technology. Thank you for sharing that. Building on that, if a leader wants to start fresh in 2026, What's your recommendation for the very first step they should take? I think it starts with why, Swapnil. Uh, and let me, let me just double click into that a second. Uh, like I said, AI is, what, is, a, is a revolutionary technology, but what we're seeing right now is more evolutionary in business. Now, I think it starts with understanding exactly the outcome you want. And that bit might be an outcome that it sees 20% increase in customer attention. It might mean you answer tickets you know, 10% faster. And understanding that that is the target and not simply adopting a, a piece of technology, um, that's key in a number of ways. Number one, it helps you understand what success is. And secondly, and as if not more importantly, and you touched on this already, Swapnil, is you need to bring your organization along for the journey. Because there's so much both hype and some of it warranted, some of it not, around what AI is going to do to the workplace. Now, uh, I'm not one that buys into the idea that uh, we're going to see uh, catastrophic job losses across white collar industries. This is very much a people first technology where people are augmented by the technology and not replaced. And so communicating that to your organization, that the, the, the outcome you're looking for is one of the KPIs or something similar that I just talked about. And that is why we're looking at adopting particular AI technology. It can also help understanding, well, what kind of AI technology are we thinking of adopting? Because I think a lot of the hype is about generative AI, but uh, and we can talk about it, but a lot of what we are seeing are hybrid approaches where we're taking generative AI and we're maybe taking some more traditional machine learning models and even just using plain old uh, deterministic code to achieve uh, the best results. And Starting small with a well-understood problem is how I would suggest uh, a leader uh, start the journey and communicating that to the broader organization. So in a way, it's a classic digital transformation problem. 